Thank you so much for joining me. This is Shauna L. Francis. If you are new to my channel, I'm so glad that you're here. Today, I will be talking to you about a conversation that I had with the late Queen Elizabeth. I learned two days ago that I have made a pre-life agreement to bring Queen Elizabeth's true story to the world at large. I, um, I awakened about four and a half years ago. And before that, I was in digital marketing for over 25 years. I worked with some of the biggest brands in the world. I thought that my life was set on this trajectory. I was wrong. Um, my awakening happened and my entire world changed all for the better. I learned that my mission in this lifetime is to help emancipate negative reptilian energy from the planet. And yes, when I heard this four and a half years ago from Archangel Metatron, whom I was channeling at the time, I was in utter, utter disbelief. Here we are four and a half years later, and I am just now finding out really the crux of what I'm doing here what's going on. I am still getting used to this idea. I'm still in shock. I'm still completely surprised. I would have never, ever have guessed this. Before I get into this channeling, I encourage you to watch some of my other channeled videos here. Uh, I've got about 250 free videos on this YouTube channel here, and I've channeled the Galactic Federation of Light, Melchizedek, <laughs> um, Bashar, Cryon, and many, many others. I consider myself to be a light worker, and everybody who watches these videos are also light workers. We call ourselves the Army of Light Earth Division. We have found out recently that we have an Army of Light on the other side of the veil, namely through the Galactic Federation of Light, and we are all working as a team on behalf of the ascension that's underway now. I also want to tell you that I, found, I have found out in the last six months or so that, and this is a real quick version of this, I too was a negative reptilian for a very long time. And I wreaked much havoc as a negative reptilian. And what I'm doing here in this lifetime is to help atone for the past deeds that I've done where I've caused so much pain and misery. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been reptilian. I've been working at this now for 200,000 years, my guides tell me. So here I am today. I am working on behalf of the light. I have switched teams from the dark to the light. I'm now working with the Galactic Federation of Light, as are most of us here. And we are now bringing through Queen Elizabeth who is also a light worker working on behalf of the light. Uh, two days ago, January 13th, 2023, I channeled Queen Elizabeth for the very first time. So this is just two days ago. I would love for you to watch that video and also catch up on some of the other reptilian disclosure videos that I've been making since December 4th, 2022, almost daily. I've been doing uh, the Ascension Daily series now for over 115 days. I think I've got about 115 videos, so it's been a little over that. So this is a lot of good information here. And uh, again, this is about the Ascension. It is us moving toward a higher vibratory rate as a species, humanity, all inhabitants here, Mother Earth herself moving up to the fifth dimension we are supporting this through this work. I am here to help disclose the negative reptilian influence that's been here on the planet since forever. We are bringing through specific information from the Galactic Federation of Light. And now our newest team member, Queen Elizabeth. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know what happened today with uh, the Queen Mother, as I like to call her. I spent 90 minutes channeling the Queen today, and I'm going to read you every word she said to me today. 
and I'm going to describe to you what I saw and what was happening from my end of the conversation. <laughs> this is all about love, guys. This is not about fear. This is not about fear. It's not about freaking people out. It's not about um, trying to ruin reputations. It's not jumping on some kind of a bandwagon. I am flabbergasted that I am channeling the queen and that I'm serving in this way, albeit I'm excited to be doing this and I'm honored and I'm humbled, <laughs> uh, but it has been a, a, a massive surprise and a big turn of events. And uh, again, I'm honored to bring her story forward and this is in the name of truth and of love. Okay, guys, we'll get started. So uh, um, the way I've been doing these, the channeling lately is I picture myself going down an elevator 10 floors and then I get off at the first floor. And I've designed this first floor in my mind as a Japanese garden. And I've been conducting interviews from this area now for, like I said, over 100 days. And again, first time Queen Elizabeth came through two days ago and this is the first official channeling I've done of hers outside of that introduction. <clears throat> okay, so I went down the elevator knowing that I was going to meet with Queen Elizabeth today. So I meditated for about 20, 30 minutes. I went down the elevator and I waited. <clears throat> and sure enough, I begin to see the Queen walk across and have a seat across from me ready for this quote unquote interview. I see that she was wearing lavender today, looking very much her regal self and all put together with a little bit of lipstick on, just looking perfect. <coughs> and um, she sat down and she put a gloved hand, a gloved hand over my hand. I said, hello, Queen Mother. It's such a pleasure to be speaking with you. I'm very excited about this partnership um, and I'm, I'm just elated at what we're going to be able to bring through together. Um, and I said, are you ready to get started? And she said, good afternoon, Shauna. Yes, I think we are ready. I said, okay, then you look beautiful today. <laughs> and she said, thank you, Shauna. You know, it's all just an illusion here to help you understand who and what I am and where I'm coming from. I said, even so, you look beautiful and radiant as always. She said, thank you, Shauna. I said, I'm pretty much ready wherever you'd like to start. All right, team, here's what Queen Elizabeth had to say today. Today, I reach out to the world with my heart open, exposed and vulnerable for the information that I intend to disseminate out to all of you, to anyone who is interested in hearing from me as Queen Elizabeth here on planet Earth for an incredible 96 years. I know and understand that there are many opinions about who and what I was, how I conducted myself, how I applied the rules and laws, how I approached my queendom and how I felt about all of you. And at that point, I really started to feel the energies go deeper and change. <clears throat> My partner here, she continued, Shauna L. Francis, has made a pre-life agreement to carry these messages far and wide to be my spokesperson now that I have the freedom to speak plainly and directly with each and every one of you. We have all entered a new era on this planet, Mother Earth, beautiful Gaia, and it is with the tenderest of care and love for Mother Earth and all of her inhabitants, all of her people, that I reach out to you today. <clears throat> Being the queen was so much more to me than a job or a title. I saw it as a great opportunity to do God's work in the image of what I held to be as God. And there was a long pause here. Shauna, here taking dictation, has been chosen for her very special gifts and abilities, perfectly suited for this work. She is brave, she is worthy, 
and I have complete trust and faith in our abilities to partner together in order to relay what I consider to be some very important information that is not only appropriate, but needed at this time. The first thing I'd like to say from the depths of my heart and soul, dearest Megan and Harry, Harry, you are always the apple of my eye, such a beautiful boy with your rosy cheeks, your inquisitiveness, your exuberance and easy smile. Watching you and your brother grow up from the most beautiful babies to the most regal of men, I couldn't be more proud of who you've become. Both of you operating with the highest of integrity, doing exactly what you feel is right and best in your own unique and important ways. Megan and Harry, seeing the two of you fall in love has been one of the greatest joys of my life. And these beautiful children that you have graced us with, I will forever cherish the moments that I was able to spend with them. Harry, you are a magnificent father, and I'm so very proud of you. I am not so proud of myself for failing to tell you how I felt many times over. Megan, so brave to enter this family. I admire your stoicism, your tenacity, and your protectiveness of Harry, your children, this beautiful family that you've created together. I am personally sorry for not doing my part to help you feel more than welcome, but a celebrated member of our family this monarchy is better because you are now a part of this family. Megan and Harry, Archie and Lilibet, I bestow upon you the greatest of blessings. And know that while I may not be there in person to love you and support you the way I should have, that I am here now in a different form watching you, loving you, and supporting you to the best of my abilities. I understand that these simple words may not make up for the lack that I'm feeling in terms of how I handled myself with Megan's arrival into our family, but know that they come from the most sincere and deep parts of my heart. And may these words provide you with some comfort and a little bit of peace as the four of you continue on this beautiful journey together. Okay. And at that point, I see the queen is crying and I start crying with her. And we had a tender moment there. And at that point, we switch gears. After I'd say four or five minutes of crying and just letting these words sink in and feeling into this energy, I start to see the queen the image of the queen morph into what looked like a reptilian being. And I just waited and I held space and I just watched. And this was absolutely not expected. <laughs> I thought, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, here we go. <clears throat> The way that she looked, um, well, I would say face was kind of a cross between like a snake's face and a lizard's face, uh, but you know, human size, big eyes, kind of a uh, brow ridge that kind of went down to the nose, um, greenish brown scales, formidable. And I just basically, I just waited. <laughs> I just waited. I wanted to see what was going to happen here. And then I heard, Shauna, are you ready to continue the conversation with me like this? And I said, in my mind, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Please give me a moment. 
and I kind of composed myself a little bit and I said, okay, Queen Mother, obviously you've changed form here for me and you're very much looking like a reptilian. I said, this isn't what I expected at all, but I'm happy to continue our conversation and be of service. So I said, wherever you'd like to start. <clears throat> Thank you, Shauna. I did not mean to startle you. This will get us closer to the truth more quickly. And I'm feeling that time is of the essence. There's a lot to talk about. My essence, she said, is not reptilian. Much like you, Shauna, I have made a choice. My reign has, as Queen Elizabeth will be the final and last incarnation that I will be in reptilian form. Okay, team. I wouldn't believe this if it hadn't come through me directly, seeing what I saw and feeling what I felt. And I understand that many of us have heard rumors about this, <clears throat> but this, this is the confirmation that works for me. <laughs> the Queen Mother uh, was reptilian. We have a lot to talk about, not tonight, but what will be coming from her as we dive into this further. So again, team, this is not about fear, not even close. This is about love and she'll go into this a little bit more. <clears throat> she, she continues here. I am choosing the light and this new journey on this path of light starts now. My aim is repentance and to help right some of my wrongs to help shed light on the darker aspects of my reign and to finally speak the truth about the negative reptilian aspect to my existence and to the entire royal bloodline. And there was a long pause here. I said, thank you, please continue whenever you're ready. The reigning monarchy of today is not the same as it was hundreds of years ago. The earth is shifting and changing and so are all of her people. I say it is time to come clean. There will be many of you, perhaps even most of you, who will find these concepts appalling, unbelievable, damaging, hurtful and outrageous. Sometimes the truth is not pretty. Sometimes it is not warm. And sometimes we cannot be proud of the truth. The world of today is becoming less and less tolerant of what it feels as inauthentic. This world can no longer accept and protect what has been hidden for so very long. The negative reptilian influence here, very much alive on planet Earth, is about to come to an end. I see this very plainly. And I'd like to be an agent of change now that I feel I have the freedom and the knowing and the ability to do my part to help make amends, to help bring truth, to help lift spirits and help set a course moving forward that is on an entirely different trajectory than where it has been. This is my sincerest honor to be able to serve you once again in this way, not from a place of royalty or prestige, but from a place of humility. My service from this point forward will look very different from what it was before when I was on earth as Queen Elizabeth. From this place, I serve each and every one of you with a much different perspective. And this role will be approached with more seriousness and more sincerity than what I was able to do as Queen. And now, at this time, I ask you for your patience with me. I ask of you, please, 
to have an opening in your heart for what I have to say. And I invite you on this journey with us to help unravel a regime who has overstayed its welcome. It is my intention to join all of those who are here today working tirelessly on behalf of the light, who have taken an oath to restore balance and to reclaim what has been so covertly stolen and manipulated for such a long time. And there was a long pause here. Shauna, she said, the depths of the depravity, the lowest of the lows, will be on display for people to see. You and I will embark on this journey together, hand in hand, heart, heart to heart, aligned in spirit, aligned with source, and united with our choice to help this planet move forward in light. And then I saw she put both of her hands with my hands. I said, thank you, Queen Mother. I'm honored, I'm honored to embark on this journey with you together. Thank you for this opportunity. She said, thank you, Shauna, for your willingness. I said, Queen Mother, is there anything else that you'd like to talk about? There will be many, many sessions, she said, an abundance of information, disclosure. It is time. That is all for today, dear child, she said. So there you have it, team. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments here. Let's keep it really respectful, full of light and love, honoring everybody here, including, including this being who is um, really putting herself out there. So we've learned tonight that the queen, just like myself, is deciding to leave that life behind and move forward working on behalf of the light. So I'd love to support her with this endeavor and do everything I can to help bring her messages to this planet, finally, so that we are able to know what's been going on. And again, team, as has been explained before, the knowing allows us to be in choice. This is why reptilian, negative reptilian disclosure is important right now. So we understand ourselves as free and in choice about how we want to be, who we want to be, where we want to take this planet. All right, guys, I'm going to go for now. I do expect to see you all tomorrow. Love you. Mwah.